In this video, I'm going to show you how I calculated the Fisher's LSD multiple comparisons and their protected Fisher's LSD because I actually observed a statistically significant ANOVA first. So the adversity assumed F value 14.5 net was significant. Therefore, I can do some post hocs. And there are very limited options for post hoc analyses in SPSS and most programs for that matter. For reasons that are not entirely clear, it's been a, just much less work has been conducted in that space. If you click on the button post hocs and all you have is a one with one way within subjects factor in your repeated measures ANOVA, you'll get nothing. You don't have any options to click here. You have to go into options and then put your time variable here and it says display means for time and click on compare main effects and you'll see that you get three options. LSD, Bonferroni and Sadak. Bonferroni and Sadak are arguably too conservative, especially in this case where I have three levels and I should be allowed to do the LSD given that I have a significant one-way ANOVA F value. So that's how I clicked, I clicked on the LSD there. Click continue and the whole analysis is going to be reconducted. So I've gone through this already. It does give you some extra descriptive statistics for the means and such, but the main thing that you want to look at is this table entitled pairwise comparisons, because that is where you'll see the individual comparisons across, across the levels. So time one and time two, which is pre-treatment and post-treatment, well, that's a numerical mean difference of 19.61. So 14.94 minus 25.33 equals 19.61 and that is statistically significant. So anxiety levels dropped in a statistically significant way from pretreatment to post-treatment. Then we could do a, a difference between pretreatment and follow-up, one and three. And we can see that the numerical difference amounts to a, a mean difference of 20.11, so 44.94 minus 24.83, and that is statistically significant because this p-value is less than 0.05, it's 0.001, and we have uh, rejected the null hypothesis of equal means here again. So people's anxiety levels are staying down even after follow-up, after they're, not, they're no longer receiving cognitive behavioral therapy. Now, the last pairwise comparison, at least, is between post-treatment and follow-up, mean 2 and mean 3, and that amounts to a difference of only 0.5. So the difference between 25.33 and 24.83 is a, is a difference of 0 0.50, and it is not statistically significant, p equal 0 0.904. So because this p-value is greater than 0 0.05, I can't reject the null hypothesis. I have not found any evidence that there's a statistically significant difference between these two means. So those are pretty much your only options at this stage in terms of using the menu options in SPSS. You could do the Bonferroni. That would be too conservative, in my opinion, at this, uh, with only three levels.